busy. Nobody's nobody has time to do a topo, so usually it's done maybe a couple hours with overtime or even on, on overtime on a Saturday. So the idea that you could, you know, eliminate all that time and cost and get an accurate topo, I mean that's huge. Well before propeller I was importing my CAD work to Google Earth. And the problem with Google Earth was that Google Earth didn't up, doesn't update every maybe once a year. I cannot see the excavation or I cannot see the progress as we go on in the project. With Propeller, we just fly and all of a sudden I have real data. I can see what's really going on with my project as, as the month pass by. When they started coming to us about their online processing, they were answering all the questions correctly. What about site-specific coordinate systems? Okay, we've got that handled. The first couple data sets I got back that I tried were more accurate and more consistent than anything that I was producing. That's, that's when I was on board. At the end of the day, I can upload a data set. I know that when I'm going home, someone on the other side of the earth is waking up and, and processing my software at night while I'm sleeping. More times than not, in the morning, it's available. So that's fantastic. I mean, on a site like this, we're changing by 20,000 yards a day. And traditionally, with an aerial, you know, not only does an aerial cost between you know, eight to upwards of $20,000, it's a minimum of three weeks to a month before you get a contour map back. With uh, photogrammetry and propeller, you get colorized point clouds and you get a rich data set that is not only useful to our project managers and project engineers, but also provides a visual record of the site and provides data that's available to anybody. Having that 3D point cloud, a Google Earth style experience where anybody from anywhere in the world can essentially be part of that site without having to travel. It's become a point in our meetings, not only are we looking at spreadsheets and PDF plans, but we're also bringing up a propeller site and we're able to zoom in in 3D from an aerial perspective and talk about a particular part of the site. I think the data sets speak for themselves. It's nothing that you have to bring anybody on board with. I mean, it's data that's intrinsically and obviously valuable. So there's not really any pitch about it. You just, the pitch is here's the link to the website, done. The user interface is, is very much like people are used to. So most people already kind of know how to manipulate the, the uh, you know, the 3D imagery. something's going wrong, you don't want to know that a month later. You want to know the next day if possible. It allows red flags to go up earlier and you can make changes earlier. So with respect to that, it's saving money. You know, it gives you the gives you the tools, the visual tools to make decisions 